All right, Matthew, so another um, hard-fought win. How do you think a performance went for you tonight? I thought the boys were outstanding from start to finish tonight in different ways. Look, in the first half, I thought we set off out the traps really quick. We played some super football on a pitch that the Spanish were complaining about. Look, if my lads can play on it like that, you know, I don't think there was any complaint on the, on the pitch. Um, and we went two goals up deservedly so, and I thought we were in well, well in control of the game then. Um, second half then, obviously two sendings off, and, and it disrupted the rhythm of, of what we wanted to do. However, the boys showed me a different side of them. And I told them that in the dressing room. I said, people have questioned them, you know, outside of our circle. And when I came to the club, I was told that they didn't have this. They didn't have the character to go and dig a game out. Well, dear me, they showed it tonight, didn't they? I don't think anybody could question the character of Port Down football players. Um, and I said it, I'm so proud of them. Because it's not easy. New did a good team. Look, they've been on a run for however long. And they're second in the table and so many points ahead of us. And to come tonight... Especially in the first half, the football we played, I thought was you know was really good, and we cut them open. We we had numerous opportunities, and then to withstand the pressure because they used to win in Newry, and see what happens when you used to win in, you never give in, and they didn't give in. And full credit to Newry, they came, they kept coming, they kept coming, and the boys stood up. Look, Ross Larkin and Adam McCallum, they're in the team, the two young fellows, and they're in the team for their football ability as well as the you know defending first and foremost. However, at the minute, the way that we want to play, they're there for that. And I just said, there, see Ross, it doesn't harm to head it and kick it the odd time. If he can now marry that, same as Adam, with the footballing ability, the playing out from the back and the technique that they show when they're passing the ball, they will have a tremendous future in the game. And I'm, I'm just so proud of them, each and every one of them tonight, because when your manager's sent off, you know, it's not, it's not easy. They were camped in, they were under pressure, but do you know what they've done? They, they put the hard work in and the effort it was outstanding and, and I'm full of credit for the boys you said there about playing the football out from the back and there was a couple of times there were a few hearts and mouth moments is that something we're going to have to get used to or is it, we're, we're, we're going to force that football out from the back and you may get used to it because it won't change it won't change um, why why have a principle and why have an ethos of style of play if then if things are getting hairy and tight that you're not going to do it look the times I, I can remember in the first half they nearly won it however when they nearly won it they didn't the key word is nearly. We come out, we're up on the left wing, we're then getting crosses in the back post. Because they nearly won it. Because when they press like that, we then have bodies in, in separate positions. If the players work hard enough and getting themselves in good areas, they will receive the ball to play forward. And that's what we've done. Second half, we didn't do it as much. And, you know, Dave had a bit of a go at the lads there for, you know, saying they, they weren't really brave enough to get on the ball. But look, maybe even I would. <laughs> forgive them for that because sometimes the right decision today wasn't to play into feet maybe in the second half the right decision was to slide it down the side of them we kind of went a little bit between two stools but they may have 2-1 with 15 minutes to go I'm not sure I'm going to be berating them for not playing square balls across the back four when they've got four up front so overall I'm a happy man um, and I said um, all my victories in football as a manager which you know last season I think that was our best and, and people think that sometimes you say things in the heat of the, or the heat of the moment and after the game, but I've reflected on it there for half an hour, and, and I truly believe that because it's the character that them boys showed me, and the effort. And I'm so proud of. Them. With 20 minutes to go, Ryan Carmichael got the call. Does that show a real um, uh, of the faith you guys have in the, in, the, in, the, in the talent that Ryan has? Ryan Carmichael's been outstanding since day one. Played him against Dundalk the other day, and, and people think, how can Ryan Carmichael be sub for the first team and then sub? Um, you know, in, in a second string eleven, if you like, against Dundalk. But we we manage, we trying to manage him. He's seventeen, so we brought him on at half time, and he was, he destroyed them. Look, and he's not destroying. This isn't under seventeens. He's playing against. He's playing against boys there that won the League of Ireland. You know, th three out of the last four years. Brian Gartland, and who who obviously the Port Down fans know really well. And he told him apart. And I said, you know what? We now need to get this boy on for 20, 25 minutes and give him and a little bit more and let's see what he can do. And he showed maturity beyond his. He didn't do, you know. I thought, look, he's pacing and energy. I was on the phone ringing from one side to the other because we wanted. Well, obviously, we have to communicate, and I wanted him. I thought we'll get in because they were leaving themselves exposed at the back. But he didn't just run blindly. When he picked it up, he took it into the corners. He held the ball up. He bought us free kicks, and he showed a maturity beyond his years. And doing that, we'll get him more minutes, without doubt. Craig McMillan will probably be suspended now, um, so there's an opportunity for somebody to come in. Because we've pretty much kept the same team. As much as I'm trying to look at other people, at the end of the day, I have games of football to win as well. And you know that third place 
He's a wee bit closer now. I'm not saying we'll we'll get there, but the welders have been beaten tonight, and now whilst they've games in hand, I want to be breathing down there next when we go there in two weeks' time. Bye, Claire. Next up, and we're back to Saturday football. You'd like to go back to Saturday afternoons? I had to ask there what time do we train on a Tuesday and Thursday because it's been completely different. Yes, I will be looking forward to it. A um, couple of reasons. The number the first one's my liver. It's absolutely brilliant, this Friday night football. I can have a couple of beers here now, get up the road, and then Saturday afternoon maybe go and watch a match, and, and then it's a couple more beers, you know, it's and it's not it's not ideal. Um, it's been good, though, because it's given me opportunity to go and watch other matches in the last two weeks to get to see this league a little bit and remember um, remember stuff about it and, and what I needed to know. Um, but, yeah, I'll be looking forward to a Saturday game, and with a bit of luck, it'll attract a big crowd again, and, you know, what we're trying to do is, is bring people back through the gates and... Hopefully they, they're enjoying what we're doing out on the pitch. Well done, the night. Well Thank you.